Dutch vegetables, round fried beef croquet balls. Homemade bitterballen from Holland. Hi Michael. I come from the Netherlands, so sorry for my bad English. These are the ingredients for the ragu and for forming your bitterballs. One liter of water in a large saucepan, one shin of beef, two marrow bones, five hundred grams of beef poulet, that's French. You cut the vegetables into large pieces and add to the meat and the water. And add the spices, the spices. Keep the heat low and cover the pan. Four to six hours on a low heat and smell that. You now have a delicious broth. Scoop any foam from the pan layer of fat may also from the pan. Get already some meat and marrow bones from the pan. Strain the broth. It's some kind of a soup now. Vegetables we do not, do not use, but mm, taste them. Remove the meat from the vegetables. And there it is, your bouillon. Pull the meat with two forks apart. It's real pulled beef. It's hard work, but the result will be delicious. Now we make the ragu, weighing 6 grams gelatine sheets, and soak the gelatine leaves in cold water for about half an hour at least. Here are the ingredients for the ragu, that's the inside of the bitter balls. Melt the butter in a pan until it's light brown, add the flour. Steer well, we're baking the flour. After two to three minutes, you have a nice roux. That's also French. With flour with water, water or flour with man, butter. And then add the broth to the roux. I hope I say broth, broth. And again, steer. Continue stirring patiently. The flour is one with the broth and the butter. The ragu arises. You're ready for the next step. Add the pulled beef to the ragu. Fire very low and stir again. We keep on stirring, shaken but not stirred. No, stirred but not shaken. We now have a beautiful ragu. Tasting begins. That's very important. It's your taste. Add pinches of salt, pepper and nutmeg and taste, 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 taste until you're satisfied with the taste. There we stir again and we taste how it is. Yeah, I like it. Turn off the fire, squeeze the water out of the gelatin and add it to the ragu and there we go again, stir, stir it up. Yeah, after stirring, the taste. Take the taste stronger because while frying, flavor subsides. If the stew tastes like you want it, the inside of the bitter balls should taste. You're ready. The ragu goes into a tray 
or something simili sim similar. And there it is, your beautiful homemade ragu. It's also tasty on a sandwich or rice or pasta. And there we go, after a day in the refrigerator. And here are many breadings, breadcrumbs. We use egg and breadcrumbs again to make a bitter bowl. You can also roll in flour or in Japanese panko. We use crushed Dutch biscuits. Instead of rolling two beaten eggs, you can only use the protein, but we use it all sometimes, sometimes the protein. A bit of balls about 20 to 30 grams. Take a little piece, or make a little bowl, roll the ragu in the breadcrumbs. There it is. In the egg, completely let it swim. And then again, through the coarse breadcrumbs. And it has to close totally, or else it will leak during frying the bitter bowl. There it is, ready, your first homemade bitter bowl. Congratulations! On average we make the crocket balls, that's a bitter bowl, 20 to 30 grams and 3 to 4 centimeters by diameter. Now you can fry, freeze them or fry them immediately. I always defrost the meatballs in the refrigerator for a great hot ragu. There we go frying. Frozen bitter balls 5 minutes at 175 degrees. Told to, to a maximum 3 minutes at 180 degrees. There we go. The snack of snacks. The best snack in the world. The Dutch bitter balls frying. And here we are. Bitter balls on fire from Holland. Enjoy your homemade bitter balls. My name is Michael Boerup.